Hello people, so I actually have a story. Kind of, it's kind of a story. Anyway, <laughs> this morning, I've since I've gone back to school, for some reason, I, I wake up around 7 every morning. No alarm. I just wake up from my dreams and it's kind of irritating. So this morning, I'm lucky I actually got up. I woke up at 6. I don't know why. There, I, I was in a deep sleep and I started hearing this really annoying noise, like a, a metal clinking noise. I wake up and I look and I go to look at my clock to see what time it is and my clock is blinking and my phone is lit up and just the power had gone out apparently throughout the night. So I'm actually lucky I woke up at 6 because then I wouldn't have gotten up on time to go to class. So I reset my clock and, and turned my phone off and then I went to my fridge because it was making some really weird noises. So I opened it and uh, luckily all I have in there is water. So nothing would have gone bad. Um, I think Leah's cookie dough is in there, but it was it was still cold. But it got to the point where the ice in the freezer section started defrosting itself. So there was like a puddle or two of water inside the fridge. So I cleaned that up, but it, it was just it's kept making some weird noises throughout the night, and it was keeping me up from or in the morning, I guess. So. Um, but yeah, so then I got, I got up for class. It was really boring. There was, okay, so we had a test. And this is my appreciation of theater class. We had a test. And it was 30 questions. Really easy if you study. And of course, I, I went through the book last night. And there was some highlighted stuff. So I looked at that. I'm actually lucky I looked at that because it was actually important. Um, I went through the study guide that he gave us. And I get to the class, and there's a question about the Crucible. And if you haven't read the uh, the play, The Crucible, or haven't seen the movie, it's about the Salem witch trials and how um, people were, women and men were both accused of being witches and using witchcraft. And the only way that you can um, make yourself not guilty of it is actually agreeing and saying that yes I am guilty of using witchcraft and giving names that was one question the other question was something of what other historical event does this play um, relate to and everyone there was like the Cold War World War two some housing act of whatever time period and another option and I know it's World War II because the um, the Salem Witch Trials were basically the same way formatted as the World War II uh, Nazi Trials and I feel like a big geek right now because I know all of this because uh, I didn't pay attention when I actually read the Crucible so, and so anyway um, where the only way people or men and women probably that were accused of being part of the Nazi party um, were able to either get let go or uh, an easier sentence was to say yes I, I, I did participate in this party and give names so that was really easy for me to be like oh I know that answer so after the test we had a break and um, I'm sitting on the hall and just on my phone like we're putzing around and stuff and uh, this group of freshmen come out of the class because it's, it's a freshman level class but I have to get it done and it's annoying but they're sitting and they're talking about this one question everyone's like oh it's the Cold War it's the Cold War no it was the Housing Act and I really wanted to chime in and be like no you're all wrong it's World War II so our teacher grades on a scale and um so if a majority of people or over 50% of the class gets the one question wrong he'll throw it out which is irritating because if I get that question right and it gets thrown out I'm gonna be mad because of people's dumbness and falling asleep in class while we're talking about specific things so yeah went to the gym people stare at my butt a lot now I don't like it especially when I'm stretching and there's a I think I've described it before where there's the free weights 
and then there's a little room where there's yoga mats and ball, <laughs> like, um, exercise balls, and sorry, I'm laughing at myself, and then, like, nautical, nautical, not nautical, nautical is, like, sea stuff, um, like, your treadmills and your other machines and such on this side, and I'm in here doing my stretches, and there's random freshman guys and random creepy middle-aged men just staring and it's creepy and I really appreciate it if they would stop because they're not cute even if they were cute they really shouldn't stare at me it's it's awkward they should you know grow a pair and come talk <laughs> but yeah so I actually had stuff to talk about and it makes me happy I'm in a, I'm really happy today and I really don't know why I'm tired but I have my bread right here you can't see it but I have bread with butter and my little my glass that I got that has my name on it from Cedar Point that my daddy bought me and I'm over my time limit so I will talk to you all later I'm gonna put a link to my cover that I did if you haven't seen it I'll put a link right here in this lovely bland spot so I'll put a link right there make sure you go like it um, watch it and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!